All right. So Professor Liu is going to teach you how to do chapter two classwork right now. Okay. Uh, at this moment, I'll do a chunk of uh, a recording. So if you have a question, please just leave on the chat room. So and the question I copy at at the Microsoft Word right now. So Justin Fernandez wants you to create program, and we'll calculate um to enter uh so. Right here to get the tips. So here for this program, in order to find the tips, in order to find the tip, I probably need to know what. I probably need to know your uh pay the total. That's right. So and the uh, in the tax for yeah. your area. Mm hmm. So I'm going to say here. I'm going to insert a uh table and you do it later. Okay, I'm going to put input and process and output. It's okay. So the in the input, I need to know the bill. Okay, the total the bill. I need to know that. Okay, then I also need to know the t percentage. It's okay. I need to know that. Then I will. Then this way I could find find out my tips. So um, if I know the total bill, so now if I know my total bill, I know my percentage. Remember the difference from C plus plus and mathematic is this. Mathematic just have you know you solve for one problem like a tip. The bill may be fifty dollars or fifty five. The percentage is eighteen percent. But for us, we need to uh develop a program which can do which can do uh a pr which can do all. That's why it's variables. So uh the process here, the process here. Okay. So number one here, you need to get uh declare declare variables. All right, so I need to declare variables. So, guys, you know you are you are ask, asking a computer to do work for you. Computer doesn't know anything, so you need to let computer know these variables. So total bill, tip percentage, and tip. All these three need to declare. Once you declare the variable, you need to get input value for the. Input variable. All right, so that's a total bill and T percentage. All right, so you are going to calculate the output. All right, so most likely we do math mathematic work. Remember C plus plus is a legendary program. Uh, when the nineteen uh, sixty whatever when the moon. When a human being lands on moon, all the you know program was done by C plus plus. So it is a very very powerful program. Um, uh, you can calculate everything, but it's with console. Now, once you calculate that, then you're going to display the output. All right. So that's the fourth thing we're going to do it. So the input will be total bill. Output uh then the tips, then you do these four things. All right. So are you ready right now? So I'm going to launch for my Visual Studio. Okay. So my Visual Studio, I will create a new project. I'll create a new project. Make sure it say C plus plus. Okay, C plus plus. And we did it for a while. So once you did the one time, second time, it's your own computer. It's right here, empty projects. Okay. So next, otherwise you click this. Next. All right. So this empty project actually is your chapter two, class work underscore two. Okay. Chapter two, class work underscore two. And I'll create it.
All right, so I'm here right now, and uh, chapter two underscore two right here. Now I am going to do this right now. So add the solution. This is for my VB, so ignore this. Add the solution here. I'm going to right click it, add a new item. Okay, make sure add a new item here. Don't need to change the source. We don't want to call it source. We want to call chapter two. Uh, chapter two, class work underscore two, okay, and hit. So once I have that, let's do our golden seven lines. So these seven lines are necessary for you to create any console C plus plus program, okay. Include IO stream. Tab over. Using namespace std because uh, include IO string using namespace std is a complete sentence. If you just the line number one is not complete yet, so you put semicolon after line number two, then integer main. That's your main function. Close it. All right, and system. <coughs> Quotation. Make sure you put the quotation. Pass and return zero. All right. So um, you see the keyword has a purple color, and you say see the uh, library has a blue color. All right. So now we need to follow our uh, rule, our uh, plan right now. Okay. Let's follow our plan. Our plan is. First, we need to declare all the variable. So to declare variable, we're going to learn the first type of variable is double, D-O-U-B-L-E. When do you use double? You know, when you need a decimal number, then use double. If a human being population, or how many department in your this school, how many uh, TV at your home? Those are integers because you cannot have 3.5 TV. You may have 2.5 bathroom, but TV probably no. Okay, so you need to decide. So right now we're going to learn the first data type. First data type. All right. So I'm going. To, first data type is double. Type double. Type double. Okay. Then when you use double, and this is rule. For C plus plus, you must declare every variable. Okay, so now total bill, total bill is two words. So I put two words together. The second word uppercase the first letter. It's called camel style. Put a comma. I haven't finished yet. Double total bill. All right. Now I'm going to have a uh, T percent. All right. Then I'm going to put another one, the tip. Now I'm complete. All right. So I declare three variable. Then three variable I use it, which including the input and output. Input, output doesn't matter. And you are not allowed to give space. Tip percentage. Don't put tip blank space person. No, you are not allowed to give a space as a variable name. Variable name and no special characters at the very beginning. Just remember, just try to use only all the characters is allowed to you. Okay, so don't use other thing. So we professor yes that that method is called the camel case method, right? Where you put uh when it's the next word, you put a capital letter to separate the words. Yes, it's called camel case. Thank you very much. That's a great great comment. Thank you. All right, so we got that right now. Now we declare variable. Now we're going to get input. So the input right here is total bill and tip percentage. These two are input. All right. So when whenever you want to do input, you need to prompt. You need to say cl. You need to let the user do it. Enter the total bill for the mail. Okay, and backslash n. Now, now here, 
because that's input that's for user to see it. So you have to put a proper English. Do you understand? You don't want to put total bill as one word. So here you want to put the English because that's a prompt for user to see it. So C out is console output and this insertion. So your system will put this enter the total bill for them for the mail on the console screen for you inside the console and C in. So you wait for user to now it's a black screen in the console wait for user to enter so if they enter 55 75 the number the user key in type from the keyboard will be saved into this variable this is called this is called c in console input so extraction this is called extraction operator Extraction operator means your system will retrieve, will get the number user type from the keyboard and save into this variable. All right, and we are going to do this right now. See how enter the uh, tip percentage for the waiter. Or wages. All right. So now we're going to type this right now. Enter. So this is C L is console output. Your system will put this line on the console for you to see this. Remember, it's backslash n, not forward. Backslash n, like press enter. All right. Uh, C in and tip percent if you type correctly and the color will match as a, a light blue color if you type wrong it will become red all right so we are doing this let's follow this right now so i did the one here i declare variable then I get input value for the input variable. I got this right now, and this is called output prompt. Y if you do have output prompt, you confuse your user, and they see a black screen, they don't know what you do. So you actually type the direction. You give a direction. So you are a designer. You provide the uh, direction for the user to do it. So you provide in directions and now you enter the total bills. They enter. When they feel now you enter the total uh, tip percentage. So you design this this small application. Now when you finish, then you need to calculate, right? So we're going to see this right now. Uh, then for C, the result is on the left hand side. The result is not different from is different from math. Math will say total bill times tip percent equal tip, but for us is result first. So tip equal to total bill. When you type correctly, it pop out right there. And times is asterisk. Okay, times is asterisk. Doesn't is not x. Then total percentage. Uh, tip percentage. And semicolon. Notice every single line I have sem semicolon right now. So I calculate. Now I calculate the output. Now I'm going to display my output right now. So when I display my output, I usually put combination. Some of them I display a message. For example, I say the total, uh, the tip percent, the the tip is then i put is right then a uh, combination with your uh variable i know a uh, tip per uh, uh tip tip will have my tip then when i finish i put n line e n d l e n d l not e n d one all right so i finish this program here 
I'm going to round it. When I round it, I want you to pay attention here, especially on the percentage. If you want to put 18%, don't put percent. Because C++ is a legendary program. At that time, we don't deal with percentage sign. Percentage sign, we don't, that was uh, considered a tax, a, a, you know, a string. Well, be wait till the later program like a C sharp and Java, they will be able to recognize that percentage sign. But here we cannot recognize C plus plus do, does not have ability to recognize that percentage sign. So instead of eighteen percent, you have to put a mathematic zero point eighteen. So let's try it right now. So now I am going to build it. All right, and I'm going to start without debugging. So now this input prompt because you gave the user direction, enter the total bill. So let's put this a hundred and five dollar and forty five cents. Okay, then enter the tip percent. Remember, this tip is. A uh, waiter is very nice, cute, and this and that. You want to give 20% or you can give 18%, but you don't put 18%, okay? You, you, you don't put 18%, no. No, this is not okay. The reason is C++ doesn't recognize that percentage yet, no. Instead of, you have to type 0 0.18, 0 0.18. Now, they can, the tip is $18. 9A1. Now that's not good. That's not good. You know why? Because it's go to three decimal places. Alright, so I'm going to here, I'm going to come in back to fix for, for you. So uh, right now, I am going to make it to have a uh, like a decimal place too, because our currency has only two decimal places. So in order to make a business program, you need to include another library, another library. So you've been using one library. I want you to add another library right now. So press enter after line number one, and I'll ask you to include, and I want you to type IOMANIP, IOMANIP. So I have another library right now. Second library is called IOMANIP. Okay, IOMANIP. And after you have the IOMANIP, before you're going to type the line 13, and you have to say CL fix. That means I want it to be, because sometimes if you go to uh, scientific notation, so I want it to be current, regular number fix. All right, and step position. All right, set position to two, parentheses two. That means, that means I only want to two decimal place, two decimal place after decimal points, after decimal point. So in order to do that, you need to add another library. Now, and that's very practical because C++ is a huge program. You don't want to add entire library right there to make you run very s slow. So you want to think a library is a real library, very, you know, a real handle library. You only check out the book you need it. You don't, you don't borrow entire library home. You can, that's, that's impractical, all right? So once the library have it, they understand fix and set output, set position. So let's build it. And let's start without debugging. One more time. All right, so I'm going to put 105.45. That's my uh, bill. And we are going to give this person 18%, but we don't put 18%, we put 0 0.18. So $18.98. So it will be truncated, uh, truncated or rounded. So you have two decimal places only. All right, now, then some people say I want a dollar sign then you put a dollar sign here you put dollar sign immediate here 
All right. Then you build it. And you start without debugging. So you do the same thing. One o five dollar forty five cents and zero point eighteen is your percentage. Now you got the dollar sign. The tip is eighteen dollar ninety eight cents. All right. So this is your program number two. I'll let you do it. But let's check your exe program. You need to submit. So you need to go to your PC and you go to C drive, C drive, and you go to user, user. Your hard drive name. You recognize your own hard drive name. Then you are going to go to source and go to repos, repos. All right. Then look for today's day. That's that one. Look for today's day and. I'm going to go to debug folder and look for this right right now. Double click it and you try one more time. One o five point forty five, okay, zero point eighteen. Now you got the same answer. Now you are ready to upload. The easier way is copy this one, copy this one, go all the way, put in the repo. All the way to the repo. Then you can upload that later. So this is your number two. This is your number two. Ah,、uh, I hope you you like it and ah、uh, and you can do this. All right. So um.